fuck it is, man. Hey, who bother me in this bitch? You heard me. You mad enough. Real quick, bro. Real quick. I want to talk to d right for a second. Then we can talk, you know, the Mount Rushmore of Battle Rap Media. But let me highlight d right for a second. Because Shorty's salty, man. <laughs> you got a lot of salt in your system, man. Hopefully your dumb ass be nearby when it starts snowing. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Now, I'm a, I'm, in fact, let me just start off by giving y'all my four niggas, right? I'm going to give y'all my Mount Rushmore of Battle Rap Media. I'm going to give y'all the names, and I'm going to jump back to D-Rack. Then I'm going to break down why I, you know, made them my top four. So we got Angry Fan, Chris Unbiased, Jay Black. Fifteen minutes of fame, man. It really was a toss-up between Hip Hop is Real and Fifteen Minutes of Fame. But I'm going to go Fifteen Minutes of Fame, and I'm going to explain why. But give me a second. D-Rack. I don't feel like... Now, D-Rack has... Like, he has done a lot, bro. We could technically, you know, put him in a Mount Rushmore. I'm not mad at anybody that got him in there, got, got them in that uh, Mount Rushmore for Battle Rap Media. But you've done a lot, bro, but you ain't have a bigger impact than them four people I just named, bro. Definitely not Jay Black, bro. Definitely not Jay Black, bro. Or Angry Fan. No, no, I mean, we could argue Chris Unbiased. You feel me? But... Nah, bro, you're not, you're not even, like, you, let's, let's keep it a bang. Fuck that, bro. You're going to keep it a bang, bro. You're not even highly favored in the culture, bro. Like, maybe in the KOTD community, you hear me? But in, like, urban culture, like, battle rap, battle rap, feel me? Like, nobody cares about d rec bro. Nobody is talking about the monumental things d rec did. And battle rap media. Everybody can remember what J Black did. You feel me? It's probably people still going back watching his reactions, man. And the rest of the niggas I named, so. Like, I'm not taking anything away from you. I don't want you to think I'm taking anything away from you. Do what you did is staple. You feel me? Like you see men in battle rap, but I'm talking impact. I think you talking. You laid down, I, you helped lay down the foundation, bro. You feel me? It's, and it's a few, I mean, it's a few other people. What about con artist films? I mean, we could arguably, arguably put him in it. He did, like, he did a lot of the early blogs. You feel me? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm out of line by checking d -Rack. I just feel like the people I got on my Mount Rushmore, he ain't have a bigger impact than him. So let's talk, man. Angry fan, angry fan, bro. This nigga go way fucking back, bro. The nigga angry fan goes back, bro. Like, I remember, like, the fucking videos of this nigga in his garage. Like, this nigga always had some kind of weapon. Axes and hammers and all kinds of weird shit. Like, you feel me? A nigga yelling at the camera. Nigga damn near about the fucking... Nigga, you know how many, how many fights this nigga almost got into over vlogs, bro? Over his opinion? You feel me? His anger being interpreted as disrespect. Like, man... That's why this nigga can have 30,000 30, uh, subscribers on one channel. Then the nigga got the fucking Angry Fan Radio. He got about 20,000 on that. Then he got another Angry Fan Live. Got about fucking 20,000. Like, come on, bro. Three different channels, bro. And he only really blowing from one. Like, that's longevity, bro. <laughs> that's longevity, man. Niggas barely want to subscribe to your main page. So that's crazy to me. All right, Chris, I'm biased. Like, all right, I feel like Angry Fan was like, Damn near the inception. Damn near. Don't quote me on that. He was damn near the inception of blogging. Like, he was just talking about battle rap. That's what he was doing. Talking about it. You feel me? Chris Unbiased was like, he was like on some DVD type shit. He was talking about battle rap too, but he, like, he had kind of like, at times he had like a DVD feel. Like, he would do interviews, little documentaries. You feel me? He'd be fucking taking you from this place to this place. The, you feel me? Narrating, like, so, like, he was like that, like that, like, you feel me? Like, what Rap Redux do, or shit, like, he was more like the DVD documentary type battle rap nigga. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, he kind of made it look professional, if you will. And you had Jay Black. Jay Black was the king of the reactions. 
You feel me? Like, Jay Black came at a time where reactions was popping. Like, the niggas who was reacting to videos on YouTube was getting hella views. And he was reacting to, you know what I mean? Battle raps. You feel me? To actual rap battles. And this was before, yeah, I mean, you was getting hit with a copyright claim and all that sh I mean, I think it was copyright claims back then, but... Uh, it wasn't like, like he, because he was reacting to all URL shit, and it's a lot of his shit still up, so, but that's what Jay Black would do. Jay Black, like, he was fucking hilarious, bro. When I say this nigga Jay Black was the funniest back then, he still is funny, but back then, the facial expressions, you feel me? Like, like, like the fucking, uh, the, the, uh, uh passive aggressive disrespect, like, all the shit he used to do, he was, he was, at times he would be subtle with it. You feel me? He'd be disrespecting the fuck out you, but because he's funny and he got all these crazy ass antics and dressing up and he was just funny as shit, spraying. Like, he would do all kinds of funny shit. Like, he, that's why he's labeled the king of reactions. So, Jay Black definitely got to get a spot, man. And then 15 minutes, I don't know who was first, bro. 15 minutes of fame or hip hop is real. Um, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming that neither one of these niggas. I'm assuming that even one of these niggas started off blogging battle rap. You feel me? Like, I'm thinking like they was doing like some local New York shit, like interviewing underground uh, music artists and trying to get interviews of big celebrities in New York. And, and they probably transitioned into battle rap because I'm only saying that because the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the name of that channel isn't battle rap related. 15 Minutes of Fame. That isn't battle rap related. Uh, hip hop is real. Isn't battle rap related? So I'm assuming that they didn't start off doing battle rap. But I chose 15 minutes of fame over hip hop is real. I just feel like that content is better, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. I just feel like that content is better. I feel like Uncle Ra is more of a likable person. I feel like he asks better questions, and not only do he ask better questions, he asks the questions that need to be asked questions uh knowledge you're scared to ask you feel me like and i feel like he's more professional i feel like uncle rod is more professional and that's just not you know just based off of what i see as a fan i watch videos and vlogs and interviews of you know people talking about that dealings with uncle rod so that would be my most rushing on you true matter enough